Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today, I am doing a review on a sneaker that has never been reviewed before on this channel. I think I probably reviewed one, no, I didn't even think I reviewed one pair of shoes from this brand, and it is actually a Puma. Before I do continue with the video, I do want to start off by giving a shout out to today's fan of the day, and that is Morphosis. Anyways, continuing on with the review, to start off, we do have the box, of course. The first thing you see when you get a pair of shoes, and pretty much it's just a green and white box. You do have like this dark green, and then you do have your Puma logo right there. Well, the Puma logo, and then the Puma under it, and then you do have like that signature stripe that they always, or the signature line that they always put on most of their shoes. And on the sides, you do have this image, except the colors are inverted, and you do have your Puma logo down here instead of up top of here or wherever it was. Yeah, it was supposed to be up here actually. It's the same on both sides, and on the back, you do have your Puma logo again here, and then this sticker that says Puma uses high quality natural suede and aligned leathers. And its product colors from these materials may bleed. So they're trying to warn you that your the materials in the shoe may bleed, like the colors. But the color of the shoe that I got, I'm pretty sure it won't be too bad. And on the front, again, you have your Puma logo, you do have your hole so you can hold the box. And then you do have the tag from Foot Locker, which that's your store code, and then 705. I'm not too sure what that is, but I did pay $120 for these. I actually didn't pay $120. I paid $100 for them because I had a $20 coupon code from when I bought the Yeezy Cream Whites. A while ago whenever they released and I use it onto this pair of shoes so it came out to a hundred dollars for these and then after I purchased these for a hundred dollars I got another coupon for ten more dollars so that's why I like buying from champs for locker and foot action because you do get coupons when you spend a hundred dollars you get ten dollars off when you spend hundred fifty dollars you get fifteen dollars off and when you spend two hundred you get twenty dollars off and the name of the shoe is called the Sugi Shinsei Raw the color I'm guessing is marshmallow and puma white and the style code for this is three six three seven five eight zero three and I did get them in size seven and a half which is seven and a half in UK I got I got US eight and a half hold on I just realized they gave me the wrong size. I was wondering why, why they were a little big. Crazy, I just realized that on camera that it's a US 8.5. So I can't even tell you guys how these shoes fit because I got an 8.5, but I don't even know. Bruh. They gave me a size 7.5 in UK, which is usually a size 8 in US, but I guess they said it's a US 8.5. I'm confused right now on all this sizing stuff. So after I just look at the back and the size conversions, I guess their UK sizes to US sizes are a whole step different. So I guess a seven and a half UK is eight and a half US. So, oh man, I guess I gotta go back to the store and change my size because I don't like having US eight and a half. Anyways, that's enough with the box. Let's get on to the actual shoe. So as you can see right here, this shoe is mainly made up of a knit, like from the toe here, it is a knit. And then you do have, this knit is actually more stretchier around the ankle, which is really good obviously for the ankle because it'll form to your ankle better and then on the back you do have like the stretchy pull tab so it helps you put on the shoe you do have the word puma embroidered in 3d on the back here and on the sides right here and on the inside as well it does have like a nice little nubuck material and then you do have a little piece of leather right here on the toe box and then above that you do have this material it's like the same material as the jordan ones i don't i forget what it's called every time i go to do a review i forget but i know it i think it's neoprene i don't know i'm not sure if it's neoprene if it's not neoprene correct me but then you do have your laces as well and the whole upper is made up of like a buttery cream white look which i love which i'm guessing why they called it marshmallow and then of course on the midsole you do have your puma white as i like to call it but to me it's just white and then on the bottom it is all white as well and then you do have these little windows which shows these little black triangles under there i'm not even sure exactly what that is and then you do have the word ignite on the bottom, which I'm not too sure exactly what ignite is. I'm gonna guess it's probably the kind of material, I guess it's when they wanna call the material of the midsole. I'm not exactly too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong on that as well. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with these materials from Puma since it is only like my second Puma shoe ever. But moving back to the tongue, you do have your Puma deboss right there. Very nice, it's actually, it's like a piece of rubber plastic. Yeah, it's like a piece of rubber right there. They kind of like glued it on, I guess. And then behind that, you do have your size tag and then all up under here, you do have more of their knit. I don't know what they call their knit. I'm just, that's why I'm just calling it knit. That's pretty much it. What I do love about this shoe is a different lacing system, how they don't have the laces going across, they have the laces going on the side. And when you tighten the shoe, it does pull the tongue down more on your foot. So that's what makes the shoe more, like it makes it more secure down to your foot. I did actually put these on just to see how they would look laced up. And I put them like this just for the sake of the video. But if you guys do wanna know how I lace these, I put the shoe laces through these two holes that are there. And then I tie them once like a normal bow and then I do a double knot basically. And that's pretty much it. And I'll show you guys in a second. So there you have it. You do have a double knot right here. As you guys can see, it's a, it is a little bigger knot. It's not too much. Like fortunately enough, the laces aren't too fat, so this part wasn't doesn't look too big or too odd. And then I do like to do this because sometimes the shoelaces are too long with one bow, and the shoelaces like start to hit the floor or they're like at the bottom here. But when you double knot it, you can make longer bows at first, and then it brings the shoelaces up, and then you just do the double knot, and it looks nice and clean like that, so you don't have like 
long bows if that's just what you want to call it i guess in my opinion puma did a really good job on this shoe this is actually probably one of the only pumas i like i honestly got this colorway out of the four that were at the store i think there's five out right now but there's a cream one a white one a black one then there's like a darker version of this with the puma words like in a different color then there's like an olive green one with orange stripes and a black stripe on the midsole i think that's called a kith strike I'm not sure if they collab with Kith or not, but that's just the name of it. But I like this one the most because it pops the most. It's very, it looks, it's very smooth. It's very buttery. It's very clean. And I figured I'd just throw some butter in my collection. And what I like about the shoe as well is like, it's not too simple. Like there's a lot going on with it, which is pretty dope. Like nowadays, simple shoes just, they don't catch my attention anymore. Like Roshi's are just, so, they're nice, but they're simple and I don't like them anymore. It just makes me not want to wear them. But when I see a complex shoe like this, it makes me want to wear it more. Like you got all these little lines here. This the prime knit looks. I mean, that's pretty plain. The tongue. I know it's plain, but they put these little lines there, which gives it some character. And then they did make it like flow onto the actual mitts. It looks like it's going down here and on this side as well. And also, it's just you don't see the shoelaces, so it's something different. I like different. That's I, that's just my preference for some reason. I don't know why. Just what I like. And I like how they put the puma on the back because that's how you know you're wearing their shoes. And then these lines right here, they just add character to the shoe. I'm not sure if they have a purpose. I'm pretty sure they don't. But it just adds nice character. And then these little squares down here, nice character. And then this little lip on the back, I feel like that actually kind of completes the shoe. It makes it look really good. And then you do have like these little fins, I guess you want to call them. It makes the shoe have like a more wider look. The bottom, I like that. It has like that trail sole. Like usually you see these kind of soles on trail shoes, like mountain shoes and stuff like that but it's not to the extreme where they point out like too far. So it does have a, ni a nice stylish look to it. I honestly would wear this maybe to the gym once in a while and I'll wear this to go out like to the mall and stuff on pretty, on simple occasions, you know, nothing too, nothing too fancy. Obviously I'm gonna wear this to a fancy like dinner or something. This is just a very casual shoe. And I, like I said, I wear it to the gym. You could probably wear it to the gym as well. All that being said, that's pretty much it for the review. I'm actually gonna go to the store right now, see if they have my size and US size eight because I did figure these were a little big when I had them on my feet. But I think you can go true to size, if not go half a size up. It doesn't, like, there's really, you can just go to the store and find out what your size is because they, these are sitting surprisingly because these are super nice. If you guys did enjoy watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. It does help me out a lot, and we are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by August 8th, which is in less than two months. I'm pretty sure we can make it happen if I find all my old subscribers again. So please just share these videos and just make sure you like them as well because it does get the videos out there. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Make sure you stay woke. Well.